Coming up on Around Kern County, we're sharing a new addition to the communities of South Kern and how hope and healing with local resources are now just a few blocks away for residents. And Kern County is working in partnership with the city of Bakersfield to tackle graffiti abatement. We're sharing the plans underway when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. New resources have come to the areas of Lamont, Arvin, Taft, and Fraser Park. The Kern County District Attorney's Office, in partnership with local organizations, has officially opened the South Kern Family Justice Center, designed to ensure victims in these communities get the support they need to recover. Take a look. The Kern County District Attorney's Office opened a Family Justice Center in Bakersfield in 2018, and it has been enormously successful in helping victims in crisis. Uh, over 11,000 clients have come through the Family Justice Center there, victims of domestic violence, child abuse, sexual assault. However, when we have been doing audits, we have noticed that not many from South Kern have been coming. Not many from Lamont, Arvin, Taft, Maricopa, Fraser Park. And that was a concern to us because we know there is an enormous amount of domestic violence here, unfortunately, in South Kern. So it took us three years, but we were finally able to open the Family Justice Center here in order to help um, victims in the South Kern area. And uh, we noticed by looking at an audit of court cases in the last four years, there have been over 1,400 domestic violence cases filed in this courthouse. That's just too much, that's too many victims, and we think that may be about half of the number that have actually occurred because victims of domestic violence and sexual assault uh, very often do not report these crimes. So we're here to help victims. We have a lot of on-site partners that are gonna be going out into the community, into the fields, to meet victims where they are, and we hope that this will make a difference to families in this community. The South Kern Family Justice Center is located at 12022 Main Street in Lamont, right at the Lamont Courthouse. To get in touch, please email skfjc at kernda.org. During the last board meeting of the year, supervisors approved a proposed agreement with the city of Bakersfield for graffiti abatement services in unincorporated areas of Bakersfield. This is to address concerns among residents and to provide quality service to keep their communities clean. The city has an outstanding graffiti removal program and the county is working to partner with them on serving unincorporated residents living within Metro Bakersfield. Similar to how the county and city coordinate fire response in Metro Bakersfield, this agreement would not only equate service levels, but it would improve them for the entire area by investing in one unified system, which is a much more efficient use of taxpayer resources, as opposed to having city and county crews working independently across the street from one another abating graffiti. We'll have more updates on this exciting program that's in the works in the coming year. As the year is winding down, Kern County is getting in the holiday spirit. Anna Marie Odo has more on how our county is celebrating and what you need to know about our seasonal hours. Throughout the month of December, our Kern County Administrative Building has been dressed up for the holidays. From the beautiful poinsettias across our sign to the 20-foot Christmas tree greeting residents from the building's rotunda, we have enjoyed these festive decorations. As a reminder, our Kern County Administrative Center will be closed to the public during the holiday. Starting on Friday, December 23rd through Monday, January 2nd, in observation of New Year's Day. We'll reopen on Tuesday, January 3rd during normal business hours. For more information, please visit kerncounty.com. And we're ending today with some special news. Not only is this our last show of the year, but we're going out with a bang. Today's episode marks our 50th around Kern County and we couldn't be more honored to have spent the last year showcasing our workforce and community. 
From interviewing our employees to spotlighting our department programs to celebrating so many wins at our Kern County Parks, we hope each episode has left you just as inspired about our organization as it has us and also that Kern County is a place grounded in ideas, energy, and innovation, and that the potential of what we can accomplish together is truly boundless. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. We wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We'll see you right back here in the new year.